Uh, hello, I'm back again, uh, making something else different. I, you can't see my face, because I'm, I'm just gonna get lower. <laughs> and you get a better tripod, this one's too short. <laughs> so, you know, another lazy, uh, it's Thursday, right? Yeah. It's a Thursday, not even lazy Thursday, it's just Thursday, it must be lazy. But anyway, I didn't have anything else to cook, because I have no hot dog buns left, because, uh, I used them on, like, burger stuff. And Angie hates hot dogs for some reason. She don't hate them. She's tired of them, even though we don't have nothing else in the house to really cook. Because we're running all groceries. Because the month's almost up, and we're only buying groceries like once a month. So, still have a lot of food in the thing, and still have nothing for lunch. I'm so low. I'm so low to this table. <laughs> anyway, so today we're making uh, corn dog nuggets. Right now, I'm going to just use the recipe off of the internet. Because, uh, you know, that's the best thing to do. Honestly, it's, it's kind of self inflammatory. So, that's what you got to do. First, get your hot dogs and cut them up. Got my hot dog from the butcher. Got to go to the butcher next month or at the end of the month one or two. You know, ugh. I oh, didn't get the hot dog or anywhere else. It's gross. Hot dog flavored water. Chocolate starfish. <laughs> So now that you got your hot dogs out, you know, just cut them into pieces. I'm gonna say that this is a wait, hold up. Got also gotta make sure these are tats. These are like axle, like butcher shop hot dogs, so they're still tats sometimes. So you know, it's gonna take your whatever size you want. This is gonna be the size for me right here. Gonna be like bites, and just cut them down. I can no one know you can't see that. I'll point it down again. There you go. You know, just get a good even cut on all of them. Just line them up like this. You can just slice right through that. Something gonna be misshapen because you know sometimes the length isn't the same. And just put this in the refrigerator until you're done with the, uh, you're ready with the batter. Don't want them sitting out in the open getting warm. It's gross. Also, at this point, you should already have your darn old uh, ding ding. Also, something you can do, you can just like put some flour on there, shake them up, because what you gotta do, you gotta lightly dust your uh, corn dogs so you can get your uh, batter to take, keep shape on it. Anyway. Alright, anyway. So what are you gonna need? You're gonna need a bowl. I need my teaspoon, because I've got the grab enough. So first thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need a half cup of I don't have a half cup out. What the heck? <sighs> Not my half cup, my half cup at. Oh, it's right here, in front of me. I'm stupid, never mind. Don't listen to me. Alright, so you're gonna need a half cup of regular flour. Plain regular flour. It's a half cup. For now, put that in the bowl. You're gonna need a half cup of your cornbread mix or your corn flour, not corn flour, corn meal. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Don't listen to me. I can't speak today. Just a half cup. I have used yellow corn meal because this is the first corn meal I'll be using, and also. I like yellow, so <laughs> I'm not. I don't know what I'm doing with it. You gonna need your baking powder. You gonna need two tablespoons of this bad boy right here. You know, I need someone to tell me if baking powder, name brand baking powder, actually tastes in, is actually like any different from store brand baking powder. I still really need to know. Like, is does it actually have this difference? And if there's a difference, like, what what's the difference? You gonna need two. Tablespoons of this. Make sure you love it off because you don't want too much baking powder. You think it's going to taste like baking powder. Always. You need that. Now you got done with that, you can just throw it at whatever you like. Alright, so I kept that thing right next to me. Now you're going to need two tablespoons of sugar. I messed up again. I read a thing wrong. It's going to be two tablespoons of baking 
of a Darnold. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Now things don't taste like baking powder. So this is what you do when you mess up like this. You either one, throw it out, and I don't want to throw it out right now. So just add more corn, corn, corn meal to it. I messed up really badly. Don't listen to me. I'm not gonna cook any more flour. Add some more to it so you don't get stuff that you don't like better. So I like to reset my statement. No, I'm just gonna cut the garden clip. <laughs> All right. So this is the second clip. So. We so uh, just so you know, I messed up earlier. I added two tablespoons of baking powder and stuff. Don't do that. Add two teaspoons. I'm just gonna go with it because I'm not trying to waste no more stuff. You know, who cares? Now I like to add. I want to add some seasoning to it, but not probably to add liquid first. So what we gotta do now is add two tablespoons of sugar. It asks for two tablespoons of sugar, not baking powder. I read it wrong because I am not good at reading. I have a reading level of a twelfth of a of a fourth grader for some reason. Add two tablespoons of sugar. Hopefully the bacon powder does not mess up the taste. Because if it does, it's gonna take the bacon powder, I'm not gonna be able to eat it. Oh, I got spit everywhere. This is going really bad. <laughs> I don't know, maybe people come here for bad cooking. Add your salt. So I've asked for one fourth salt, but I don't know. I don't have a one fourth, so I'm just gonna shake salt. In. I feel like that's enough. Add a little bit more corn there. Add a little bit more sugar. Try to level out the darn old baking powder. I feel like I'm making it worse each time I do that, but who cares? <laughs> Grab your ding ding whisk. Mix that up. Oh yeah, that add a little bit of flour to your a tiny bit of flour to your whatever you have your hot dogs in. Shake the flour in, and then this seal it up and shake it until it's lightly dusted. Don't want to be wet; you just want to be dusted. Don't want to be completely dry. Mm -hmm. Just dust your hot dogs. Like so, so you can get your stuff to stick on it. Now I don't need that flour, you can just put that away. So I'm put that over there for now. Hopefully, I did not mess these up. Most likely, I didn't, because probably, probably it's just gonna make it like. Grow spiking weird. That's what usually happens. So now you need to get your half cup of milk and an egg. So right now I'm just gonna be over here getting a half cup of milk. I'm not trying to put it all the way over there. I'm gonna need a little bit more because I messed up. I added more. Dry goods, so I'm just gonna bring up like a cup of milk. But the egg's not changing. Only one egg. So you know, you got your egg. Just crack your egg. They got a crack thing right here. Throw your egg in. Throw your milk in. He's gonna mix these in. So that's why you incorporate this a little bit, not get it too. Right, First, it's gonna get lumpy. Add more. You're gonna want a lick. You gonna want a batter, but you don't want it too thin. You want it gonna be want it like a little lumpy, but not like a. Solid batter, you want like a liquid batter. A lumpy liquid batter. That's what you want to want. It. 
See, it's almost there. Just need a little bit more liquid, and then you have a lumpy liquid. But... Like a liquid, liquid batter. I think this might be good enough. Yep, there we go. I think that's good. And now you can actually transfer this to a jar or something, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put it into the bowl. So we're going to be dipping the hot dogs into it. So let me just put this away. I don't need to switch no more. Get out of here. There we go. And I don't need you no more. I don't need body chat no more. So now you're going to need something to poke your, uh, you know, to dip your... I gotta move this camera. Hold up, one second. Ah, get away. Oh wait, hold up. I need to add some pepper. And stuff. Pepper and All this Alright. So now that we're. Oh, hold on. One second. Dang it. I'm so stupid. I gotta open up this window. It's so much about oil. Okay, so now I'm back. Uh, I don't want to put my face too close to this. So I said that you're going to be dipping your ding ding corn dog. That's too, that might be too thick. Oh, this is going to be, so you always test with your first, your first one. This might be too thick. So let me just poke that down there. Let's see how it comes up. That might be too thick, but we're going to see when it cooks. Cause at this point I might need to add more liquid because I added so much star node solid. Hold up. Mm, that does look kind of solid. I'm not sure. Let's see how it cooks first. Cause I don't want to add too much liquid in and ruin it. Like I already have before. At this point, I basically already ruined everything else. So now I got my battered corn dog. I'm just kind of slide this off into there. Hopefully that oil is hot enough. Doesn't look like it. It's boiling though. It's boiling. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to come back. If it's messed up, I'm going to add more. Probably just record after it's done. But right now, it's boiling like. Hopefully it's boiling. No, it's looking pretty alright. We'll see you in a second. Hole in there so it don't explode. I don't think it's gonna explode on me. Let's see in a second. Alright, so now it's golden brown, I think. So now we're never gonna test it and see if we actually cook it all the way through. It's like dried up a little bit. Set aside a bowl or anything that has paper towel on it. So it can dry out the ding ding uh thing. So we're gonna see here in a second. Get your meat with the bottom out. See how I think that. Because if you have too much, it's not gonna cook. Oh yep, yeah, this bad boy cooked. This thing is cooked. So I think I may have put it in for a little bit too long, but this is what I got right here. I got a golden brown nugget. I can't even see that, so I'm going to show you again after I'm done cooking all this stuff. Alright, 
so you can get it. So you can hear the AC running a little bit because it got really hot in here. But it's hot outside and it's hot in the stove and who cares, whatever. So right now we got some ding dang uh, corn dogs. This is corn dog nuggets. This is what it is right here. They're all fully cooked. They're actually all pretty soft too. So I feel like going to be pretty good. Now that's it. Now that's actually pretty easy for the rest of them. And you can salt it a little bit. That's it. Yeah. Whatever. Throw a little bit of whatever seasoning you got on there. I don't need paprika because, you know, there's ash paprika or cayenne. But, you know, I don't need it, so it's pretty good. There we go. That's it. Bye.